Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hello. Okay, we're close. We're, I mean, this could be it. It might not be, but we'll see. Yeah, it could be, could not be. I don't know. Go, go, go. Let's go. Uh, okay, so we talked to Edgeworth about a bunch of stuff, mm -hmm. and I am going to show him a present the letter. <laughs> Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. Mm hmm. Edgeworth, uh, see this, <laughs> see this letter? <laughs> you see this letter? Do you like it? Is it pretty? This came out of the safe in the shack where that boat rental caretaker lived. Now, don't get too excited. <laughs> <laughs> Oy vey. I see. Exclamation point. Revenge on me? Who's that old guy anyway? I, I don't know. Clearly, any yogi. Could he be an innocent defendant you got declared guilty? Oh, that's you. Could he be an innocent defendant you got declared guilty or something? <laughs> nice, right? But I don't remember that old man. Not at all. So he was following this letter then? Which means there was someone else behind it. Now is the time. What? This is like a Doki Doki literature moment. Now is the time to get revenge on the two men who ruined your life. Two men, meaning myself and Robert Hammond. It also says, this is your last chance. Last chance? Wait, maybe. Maybe he's talking about the statute of limitations on the DL6 incident. Wait. Wait, that old man. What is it? Do you know who he is? No. Yogi. Could he be Yogi? Like that shit Dan and Aaron figured out, like... 12 episodes ago? <laughs> Yogi! The suspect in the DL6 incident. The one who was found innocent. I mean, why? Yeah, he who was else? Innocent. Yanni Yogi was a court bailiff at the time. We just happened to be in that elevator together 15 years ago. Excuse me. Earthquake! Luckily, no one's in there, so everyone's safe. The quake was incredibly strong. In Scary. I'm terrified of earthquake. Before I knew it, everything was dark. We were there for so long, it felt like forever. The air thinned, and the darkness closed in on us in that little box. We became unsettled. Help, I can't breathe. Quiet, I said quiet. You're not making this any easier. I want to get out. I want to break free. <laughs> Help, get us out. Don't shout, you'll just use up more oxygen. Uh, goo. Bang. <laughs> yeah, what happened? <laughs> That's all I remember. When I came to, I was in a hospital bed staring up at the ceiling. And I was like, dang, this is comfy. I was like, dingy dang. Gotta get one of these at home. In court, Yanni Yogi's mental condition was called into question. They claimed the oxygen deprivation and stress had called tempor caused temporary insanity. In the end, the claim passed the court, and Yogi was found innocent. Okay. <laughs> huh? But isn't that strange? The setter tells him to get revenge on Edgeworth. Why would he want to take revenge on you? I don't know. <laughs> Why are you always asking stupid questions? Right. Yeah? There's something that's been troubling me these last few yes, days. Yes, finally. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know whether or not I should tell oh you. Oh my god, here it comes. You mean the nightmare <laughs> that you've been having? Let's flash back to when you told me that. It's a nightmare I've had. A memory of a crime that I committed. A crime you committed? A memory of a murder. You remembered it correctly. Maya didn't remember it Did he remember kill his correctly. dad? I think... I think the time has come to tell all. Oh, boy. For the last 15 years, I've had the same dream almost every night. I wake up in a fearful sweat every time. What kind of dream? I'm on my knees, surrounded by six dicks. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a dream about my father's killing in the dark. Don't worry, it gets better. <laughs> surrounded by six dicks. <laughs> Help, I can't breathe. Quiet, I said quiet, you're not making this any easier. I want to get out. Help, get us out. Don't shout, you'll only use up all more oxygen. I- I can't breathe! You- you're using up my air! W what? Stop breathing my air! I'll- I'll stop you! 
Ah, what? What are you? Stop breathing my air! No, father. <laughs> He's attacking father. Then I see the pistol lying by my feet. I don't know if there's evidence from that day in court or the bailiffs. In a daze, I pick up the pistol. Get, get away. Get away. <laughs> get away from my father. <laughs> Bang. Wow, yeah, he did kill his dad. By accident. Yeah. And with that scream, I wake. It's a bone-chilling scream. A scream that has rung in my ears for the past 15 years. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> <but no>. Hey! <laughs> That's just a dream, right? No. Right? It definitely happened. That thought is the only thing that has kept me sane for the last 15 years. But what if I'm wrong? What if it's real? They say that sometimes people shut out memories in self-defense. They say if you die in the game, you die for real. <laughs> Maybe it was I who killed my father. What? If you think about it that way, this letter makes sense. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. But he was declared innocent. Think about it. Yogi was really innocent. That's why he wanted revenge against but me. But why? He was let go. Wait, Edgeworth, you, you mean... It was me. I was the true criminal of DL6. I shot my father. Damn, this is better than who shot Mr. Burns. <laughs> this is bad. What are we gonna do, Nick? What can we do? We'll wait two days till the statute of limitations gets <laughs> I don't know. I don't think there is anything we can do, like it or not. I mean, it doesn't really make any fucking difference on this case, does it? <laughs> if there's someone else who knows a lot about the DL6 incident, maybe. There is, Nick! There's someone else who knows about DL6! Polly! Let's go back to Gord Lake and talk to Polly. Oh boy. And uh, and uh, and uh, and examine and let's talk to fucking Polly. Maybe I should take care of Polly, Nick. You oh. probably should. Oh, never mind. I guess not. Oh, Grossberg, because he was, he <laughs> oh, was yeah, an attorney. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. We we're going to talk to the parrot. <laughs> what? <laughs> I know so much. <laughs> oh, my God. What? <laughs> I know my rights. What? <laughs> I played the fifth. What? Uh, wait. Grossberg isn't an option. Hmm. Right and co? One day left, Nick. Yeah, I know. Well, no time to waste. Let's get going. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Here we go. Mr. Grossberg. Ah, uh, hello there. What's wrong? You look troubled. No kidding. I can't believe you're not. My, my, my. Just calm down and tell me what happened, hmm? It's Mr. Edgeworth! Hip, hip. <laughs> he killed his father! Yep. I see. <laughs> Shit! Ten minutes later, it is. So Edgeworth dreamt he shot his own father. No, you don't understand! It's only a dream! Only a dream! <laughs> he actually did it! I wonder. What? If that's the case, then why don't you two look so troubled, hmm? Well... Also consider this. Yogi quite certainly holds a deep grudge against Miles Edgeworth. So deep he'd want to frame him for murder. But why? This leads me to surmise that Mr. Edgeworth's dream was not a dream. It was real. As you imagined. Miles Edgeworth threw the pistol to save his father. The pistol fired and the deed was done. Oh. Oh. No! I don't believe it. Believe it! Yogi was suspected of murder, and his career as a bailiff was irrevocably wrecked. Okay, that makes a little more sense. Okay, got it. Thus, he sought revenge on Miles Edgeworth. It was his last chance, of course, with the statute of limitations so close, Booby. Yeah, but he's got that noodle shop. He's fine. He's yeah, doing he's, fine. Yeah, it's fine. What do you know about Edgeworth's father? I know he's dead. <laughs> he was a defense attorney without peer. It sounds trite, but it's true. Well, he may have had one peer now that I think about it. Was it Von Karma? Oh. Yamenta, Mia Fey. My sister? 
Gregory Edgeworth was very disapproving of Mr. Von Karma's techniques. Oh, that's no surprise. Von Karma's an extreme man. Forged testimonies and evidence are nothing to him. The result, he has a perfect win record in court. To beat him, Gregory Edgeworth tried to call attention to his methods. And? Well, he lost. <laughs> He's dead now. And died in despair, as it were. I see. The spirit medium. When Gregory Edgeworth was killed, the police called on the spirit medium. Oh, yeah. That was your mother, Misty Faye. My mother? <laughs> I had a mother. Oh, this is you. Uh... It's Edgeworth's dad. Oh. I am Gregory Edgeworth. <laughs> I have been killed. The one who shot me was the bailiff, Yanni Yogi. Mm. Yet Yogi was found innocent. That's when my mother left us. That's when my mother left us! <laughs> Everyone called her a fraud! Oh, so did like... Okay, so did like... Like, Edgeworth threw the gun, but then Yanni Yogi, like, grabbed it and actually shot him. Oh. I'm sure that- I'm sure there's, there's like, a saving grace here. They wouldn't just make Edgeworth a murderer. Hmm. That's right. Everyone thought she was, you see. Yet, now that I think about it, it seems the one who lied was Gregory Edgeworth's ghost! Whoa! That's ridiculous. <laughs> um, Gregory Edgeworth must have known who shot him. I don't believe it. So you're saying he falsified his testimony? That Edgeworth's dad lied to protect his son even though he was already dead? It's only a possibility, mind you. But a possibility nonetheless. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on here. Yeah, there is. Yes. Um, okay. How about... Some evidence action, bro. <laughs> oh ho, so this is the letter. It does seem that Yogi was following this letter when he killed Hammond. Wait. But why kill Robert Hammond? Did we establish with him that Yogi was the old man? Yes. Okay. I well I think so. I don't know. Oh, I guess we had that like ten minute download. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hammond was a skilled defense attorney. But he defended clients not for their sake, but for his own. Huh? His own sake? <laughs> he never trusted his clients, that one. The only thing he trusted was his own ability. But he got his client found innocent, so why should it matter? Actually, my dear, it's quite different. He won that innocent verdict for no one but himself. Yogi was a free man, but socially he was ruined. Huh? You'll understand soon enough. At the trial! <laughs> I could tell you right now, but where would the drama be in that? Wait. What is it? <laughs> this letter. I've seen this handwriting somewhere before. A long time ago. Uh, it's Von Karma. Whose handwriting was this? Do you have any idea who wrote this? It's, yeah. it's Von Karma. Do it. Hmm, could it be Manfred Von Karma? Von Karma? Why would he have something to do with this? Um, well, I'm not sure. Hmm? Von Karma, Von Karma. Wait, you're right, my boy! This is Von Karma's handwriting, I'm sure of it! I used to see it all the time on court reports! What? But that means... The one who told Mr. Yogi to kill was... Correct! Manfred Von Karma himself! What, what does this mean, then? Oh my god. Why would Von Karma want to frame Edgeworth? Uh... <laughs> uh... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. Scroll through the other stuff. Um, the parrot. File the parrot. I mean, maybe the file case. The and DL six. File case. Check. Elevator, courthouse, and the elevator's auction. Mm. Who's found the scene? Defense attorney trapped in an elevator, returning from a lost trial with. The murder weapon was fired twice. Oh. Well, that... Because... It wouldn't... He wouldn't have a perfect record. Wait, was he the defense... No, he wasn't the defense attorney of that. He was the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had beaten him, I thought. Hammond was. Oi. Um... I... 
I don't know. I don't know either. Uh. Uh. Jeez. Photograph? Present. Try it. Gregory Edgeworth? He was a gifted man. His death was truly a loss. I wonder what would have become of Von Karma were he alive. Ah. Uh, uh, the DL6 case. This incident took place 15 years ago tomorrow, so tomorrow we'll see the completion of not one, but two trials. All thanks to the statute of limitations. Okay. However, I'm afraid the damage the DL6 incident has done will never be eased. Okay. Um... Jeez. I, I don't know what to present to him. I don't know either. Should we do it next time on Game Grumps? Oh, snap. Okay. Yeah, we'll leave a little cliffhanger. Dang. Oh, baby! So close! So? I can- I can feel it in my bones! Your bones are vibrating my, and I'm feeling the vibrations my too! My nasty bones! Goodbye, friends. <laughs> Goodbye! Your bones are jiggling. Your bones are quaking the earth! Alright then! Let them quake! <laughs>